what is he or she thinking what is your person thinking what is that they are feeling about your situation or you this is a reading to address your situation and find out what is it that you need to know regarding your relationship status with your person what is your specific person thinking about you what are their thoughts what are their intentions about you hello and welcome to psychic moon tarot reading and if you are new to my channel welcome if you are an old subscriber and you're back for another reading and you like my readings thank you so much for the support that you put to my channel we have three piles here pile number one pile number two pile number three take your time pause the video and see which is the one that calls your attention pile number one is the green witch tarot by Llewellyn pile number two is the everyday witch tarot by Llewellyn again and pile number three is the modern spellcasters tarot by Llewellyn publications okay so take your time see which is the one that calls your attention and you can go directly to the chosen pile by clicking on the description box uh, which has all the timestamps mentioned for these three piles okay and i will see you in your chosen reading pile number one what is your person thinking feeling or what is going on in their minds let's find out using this deck pile number one whoever chose the green witch tarot let's find out what is your person thinking what is your person thinking Eight of Athamid. Your person is feeling very stuck for some reason. Pile number one. They feel that they, they are not able to make a move to communicate with you. Okay, They really want to communicate with you. I see that a feeling of uh, being tied to something. I see that someone or something is bothering them which is making them feel this way probably you guys are in a no contact relationship i see there is trouble in your communication there is a blocked communication here you guys are not on speaking terms pile number one and this person is feeling uh, uh, your person is feeling very stuck because of this energy that is going on okay they feel they are bound by words they feel that they don't have the words to express they don't know how to reach out to you they don't know how to express their emotions authentically to you and that is bothering them a lot pile number one okay it's like a feeling of uh, being helpless in this situation three of athame there has been a lot of hurt okay three of athame is the three of swords in the traditional right away tarot and i see there is there is an energy of deception here there is an energy of betrayal of something um that betrayed you or them okay i i mostly feel that they feel betrayed by what has happened i see that they enter the relationship uh, thinking that this is going to be emotionally fulfilling or they had certain uh, you know they had certain hopes in mind in their hearts and their mind when they entered this relationship like uh, you see this woman entering this door which has three swords on uh, on the top and either sides of the door and what they got in the relationship was deeply hurtful for them okay 
so your person is feeling betrayed your person is feeling like uh they have been cheated they feel uh they feel heartbroken for some reason by number 1 and they don't know how to you know how to uh solve the situation how to move ahead in the situation how to navigate through in the situation that uh they are in with in, uh, in context of the relationship that they are in with you file number 1 five of pentacles you know i see that they don't like being distant from you okay file number 1 i see that your person never expected what happened in this relationship with you what happened was entirely unexpected and it just broke their heart into pieces and they feel like they are left alone in the cold all by themselves they feel that you have left them all by themselves to deal with this heartbreaking situation i see that pile number 1 most of you it is a case where you have abandoned this person or you have blocked this person or you have uh you know taken an initiative to not move ahead in the relationship it's like you have initiated a breakup in this relationship and this person what is he or she thinking is that they feel uh really helpless they feel like they have been uh left out in the cold to deal with all the you know heartbreaking trauma and the pain and the hurt okay they have no one to share it with they ha they are feeling extremely lonely and they are feeling very very helpless in this situation pile number 1 what else do you need to know what are they thinking what are they thinking about you what are their thoughts about you i see that the thoughts about you is that they really want to make you know a move towards you they want to still be optimistic in the situation and move ahead with some kind of positivity they want to move towards you they they can't you know deal with the fact that you are not there around them anymore okay so what they are thinking is they are planning their approach on how to approach you on how to move forward with you to you how to you know get in touch with you or how to get uh in your aura again okay they are thinking of approaching you one more time pile number 1 what else pile number are they thinking queen of pentacles and knight of cups yes they are uh, you know they are planning to approach you in a way that you will accept them back okay they are planning something here by number 1 so answering the question what is your person thinking i see that your person is thinking about how to approach you currently they feel stuck and they are extremely heartbroken they can't deal with the pain that they are dealing with uh, alone in the situation and hence they are planning to approach you in a way that is romantically uh it, that is very romantic and poetic something very 
uh, they're trying to do something out of the box. They're trying to do something that would show how much they care, that would show that they that you mean a lot to you uh, to them. Okay, they want you to treat you like the Queen of Pentacles. They want you to. Um, give you something materialistic so that they, they want to gift you something okay expect uh, a materialistic gift offering from them and that is their way of showing their love that is their way of you know approaching you back so that they can get closer to you okay so pile number one expect some kind of a materialistic gift from your person they are thinking of giving you something they are uh, they are thinking of approaching you with something to offer they are not approaching empty handed this time okay they have something to offer this could be a, a commitment that they want to offer or a materialistic thing that they want to offer as a token of love from their side okay something valuable okay something um that is meaningful that is deep okay so that is what i see uh the energy around what your person thinks and feels for you what are their plans what are they thinking okay pile number one so if this resonates with you uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't hit the like button and thank you so much for supporting me in in helping me motivate doing more such readings okay thank you so much thank you for your time and i will see you in another pick a pile reading very soon let's move on to pile number two so pile number two whoever chose this deck the everyday witch tarot let's find out what is your person thinking and feeling okay what are their thoughts and feelings for you currently Pile number two. What is what is it that they are thinking and feeling for you? Knight of Swords. Okay, there is a rush of feelings. There's a rush of thoughts that they are thinking about you. Pile number two. Okay, there is a whole lot of different thoughts they that they are you know surrounded by. It's like. Uh, it's in motion okay and they can't stop thinking about you they are constantly thinking about you and they don't have a control on uh, on this on these thoughts that come to their mind when they think of you okay so i see that this is a constant thing that they're dealing with they are constantly thinking about you pile number 2 so what is it that they are thinking pile number 2 And I also see that they are they love to talk about you, pile number two. For some reason, I see that this person loves to uh, you know talk about you with their friends, with their you know their uh, probably their colleagues or friends or family. They love to uh, you know bring your name in their conversations that they have with their friends. They love the energy of you know taking your name. Okay, they love your name. They love to talk about you. It's like uh, they can't stop thinking about you so much uh, that they can't even uh, complete a sentence without taking your name pile number two that's very uh, strongly that i feel here in this energy pile number two for you okay so what are they thinking what are these thoughts the tower okay i see that uh this person is hit very very strongly by you what they are thinking is you know how to uh, get out of this restrictive tower that they are in so that they can move forward freely in this uh, situation something is blocking them and they know that uh, there is something very there is a distance between you both. There could be a difference in your your castes, your religions, or something of thought of of that sort, which is bringing up the energy of the tower between you both. There is a a difference in status, okay, and they know that um, they need to get over this tower to be able to be with you. Let's let's uh, see a little more here what is it about 
what is it about what why is the tower here what is he feeling the star yeah they feel very highly of you okay they think that you are a, a way not or they are i see that they feel they think you are someone of a very higher status than them okay energetically or you know i don't know in what way but they think very highly of you they think that there is a very strong difference in you in both of your energies and um that's why they hope and pray that they get rid of this tower energy that is blocking you that is blocking them from being with you they they think that you are someone who is very very uh you know probably uh you have a lot of wealth and money around you things are easy for you your life is very different okay you have a very abundant lifestyle you have a very abundant way of uh looking at life your way of thinking is different and theirs are different and there's a there's a huge gap in how you both live your lives and probably that is the tower which they think is the problem between you both the chariot i see that this person is trying to make a decision on whether on what is that they need to what path is that they need to take in order to break that tower break that you know that distance between you both and so that they can you both can be together okay so this person is trying to figure out what path they need to take the chariot is about uh being very goal driven so this person has a very clear goal of being with you okay this person thinks very highly of you this person thinks that you are uh you are somebody who would who would add a lot of value into their lives and they want to be with you at any cost okay no matter what uh even if that means destroying something in their current lives like if even if they have to destroy uh you know something in their lives like even if they have to get rid of a uh, limiting beliefs in their lives or even if they have to you know get uh, you know get rid of some relationships in their lives which are stopping them from approaching you for example it could be their parents that they are uh, you know causing an hind uh, a hindrance in this relationship and they really want to pursue it so that is there's there's a huge lot of thoughts going on in their mind on how to you know get over this tower so that they can move closer to you okay pile number 2 what are they planning what is their next move going to be what is their next move going to be two of wands four of wands yes i see that they are making a very strong choice here okay currently they are thinking of a whole lot of different scenarios whole lot of different outcomes what would go what could go wrong what could happen you know they are weighing their pros and cons okay they are thinking what if i have to leave my family to be with you what if if i have to you know leave my country to be with uh, you or something like that they have to they understand that they have to get rid of something in order to be with you and they are ready to do that and that is the choice that they are making here pile number 2 okay they are choosing you over something else okay they are choosing you because you mean a lot to them you you uh mean the stars to them you mean uh you know a whole light of a whole a lot of divine light and you know that cosmic connection that they feel with you and they are ready to go to any extent to be with you and that's the decision that they are making here pile number 2 that they want to they are ready to take the next step ahead to be with you i see that this person could approach you with a proposal this person could approach you with a marriage proposal this person could approach you with a commitment for a lifelong partnership 
okay so i see there is celebration there's a milestone that your relationship is reaching finally by number 2 you guys are celebrating with your friends and family here okay you, you this person is thinking of how to approach next how to navigate the situation next and they are hoping for the best okay they are very very optimistic on their uh, journey they are very optimistic and they know that um whatever this is decision they are taking is going to be very very fruitful and very positive and it, it is going to lead to a positive outcome pile number 2 okay so very beautiful reading if you enjoyed this reading please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel subscribe to my channel because i post daily such long format videos and on different topics so you will uh, also hit the bell button so that you never miss an upload from me and whenever i post a new video you will get a notification on your phone okay so that was it for today i will see you tomorrow with a fresh new reading and now let's move on to pile number 3 So pile number 3 whoever chose this deck the modern spellcaster staro by Llewellyn let's find out what is he or she thinking what are they thinking or what are they feeling for you what are their thoughts and feelings for you what are their thoughts and feelings for you what are they thinking pile number 3 What is your person thinking? Pile number three. I see that your person is thinking of you in a way that gives them a lot of joy, although they 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 are in a very uh, in a position that they feel stuck. you see this person's one leg and one arm is tied to uh, the, the the two poles okay but they are still making the most of this time by looking romantically at this blue bird okay so i feel that no matter how uh difficult the situation is around them they still feel love and romanticism for you okay this their their heart holds a lot of romantic thoughts for you for example your person could be dealing with some kind of financial stresses and uh this person could be could have uh be dealing with a hard time uh you know giving you uh expensive gifts or giving you time uh, or giving you or taking you for to expensive dates but still this person feels for you very very romantically and you feel this energy from this person you feel that they uh they value you okay no matter how difficult things are between you but you guys make the most of your time so pile number 3 very cute sweet energy i see that this person holds for you okay you are their true companion okay they feel that no matter how difficult things are around them you are their true companion seven of cups they see you in their dreams pile number 3 okay seven of cups is about dreaming about uh illusions about you know dreams uh your wishes being very wishy washy being very uh you know in the mind okay so i see that this person has a lot of dreams attached to you this person might uh you know see you in their dreams for some reason i see that this may not even be a real relationship okay I see that this person fantasizes you a lot. Probably they are in a married relationship and that's why their arm, um, the one hand and one leg is tied. Okay, they are in a committed relationship. Pile number 3, interesting. Okay. 
So this person, pile number three, could be a married person who feels emotionally and romantically for you. Okay, this person holds a lot of, you know, fantasies about you. This person fantasizes you. This person sees you in their dreams. They may not express it because they're, you know, they are tied to a relationship. They are committed. They are probably in a long-term married relationship. But somehow they are attracted to you and they can't stop thinking about you. Pile number three. Okay, interesting. Let's dive a little deep. What else? What else do they feel for you? Eight of Cups. I see a feeling of, uh, you know, emotional dissatisfaction. In their current lives, they are very, very emotionally dissatisfied. No wonder they why they fantasize you. Pile number three. In their current lives, they are, you know, they're very dissatisfied. It's like they feel that their your emotional their emotional cup is empty. They feel like whatever they have put their time and energy in, like their current relationship or their current marriage with their partners, it doesn't fulfill them. Okay? And that's why they are wondering and the thought of you gives them some kind of joy. It transmutes them mentally, emotionally from this energy to this energy whenever, you you know, they think of you. Just a mere thought of you, you know, uplifts this person. Probably this person is dealing with depression. I see that the high chances are that this person is dealing with some kind of, you know, a mental health issue and, you know, you give them a lot of joy. judgment you know what they wish by number three oh my god this is really deep they wish that their current lives ends so that in the next life they could be with you I'm getting goosebumps saying this. Pile number three. They are very unhappy in their current relationship, their current situation where they are tied to something that they do not feel emotionally fulfilled. And they wish that their current lives end soon so that they can take a rebirth and then in the next life, they can be with you. Okay, because their, you know, their desire for them to be with you is so strong that, that they hope and pray that in the next life they be with you. Pile number three. Very, very deep emotions here. This person is extremely emotional. Pile number three. I wonder who this person is in your life. If this is a friend, if you know this person. Or if, it, if this person is just an acquaintance, let me know in the comments if, if this resonates. Who is this person? Who do you think this person is if you have chosen file number three? Knight of Wands. This person is also very, very impulsive. Okay, I see this person could be a fire sign. Okay, Aries, uh, Sagittarius or Leo. Very... Uh, high possibility that this person is a fire sign and they are very very emotional very very emotional people lovers oh my goodness you know they have this strong realization that you are their twin flame you are their other half you are the other half of their heart and that's what goes on in their mind constantly 
And I feel that this is a vicious cycle that they are in. The more they think about you, the further they go away from their partner in their real lives. And that makes them feel even more depressed. Okay. I see that they are not emotionally attached with their partners. Their, their partners are a burden to them. And what gives them joy is just the thought of being with you. Pile number three. You are their soulmates in their minds. You, you are their other halves in their mind. They have already given you that, you know, uh, they have already, you know, accepted the fact in their mind that you are the one who is their twin flame. You are their lover. You are the person meant for them. For some reason, you both are not together. But And this person moans that thing. This person expresses grief over the fact that you guys are not together for some reason. And they feel that this could be a karmic situation that you guys are separate and living different uh, committed relationships probably you are married or they are married or you both are married in different with different people and you although you both are married to different people you still feel connected emotionally and this person understands that and this person understands and also firmly believes that in the next life you guys will be together in the next life when you transmute to the other world you guys will be together okay so these are your person's thoughts for you. Pile number three. Very, very deep. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this reading. Who do you think this person is? I would love to read your comments. And I wish you all the best. And I wish you, uh, if you have feelings for this person, I wish that you both be together. Maybe in the next life or this life. Okay. Uh, I hope you like this reading. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I post daily videos and I cover different topics on love, career, uh, spiritual path and everything. Okay, so I will see you very soon in, an in another pick up reading. Till then, take care. Bye bye.